So the difference between coaching and a therapist, a lot of people have asked me kind of what the difference is um, between coach and therapy. Mm, and it can be confusing if you don't know kind of what the difference is. Um, so I'll kind of explain that, um, especially for people that, you know, have never had um, either one. Um, coaching is definitely different um, in quite a few ways than therapy. Um, I do coaching. Um, I have a bachelor's degree in psychology and I am a certified life and relationship coach. Um, therapists also require a degree. Um, I say also, actually, to be a coach, there is no requirement to be certified or to have a degree, um, which is um, a little bit different, um, in my opinion. Um, everybody has a different opinion on that. Um, in my opinion, I think you should have some kind of education to be able to um, give somebody the kind of uh, coaching that they need. Um, everybody has a different opinion on that. That's just mine. Um, I think that to be able to get somebody on their way in coaching and to lead them properly that you should have some kind of training and education. Um, if I were and I have been um, through coaching myself, I definitely would want someone that has an education and has some kind of training and experience in coaching. Um, and I did seek out someone that had training and education in it. Um, I definitely did not want to um, be coached by someone that didn't have um, to me that was very important um, everybody has again their own opinion about that um, that may not be important to you or um, somebody that's looking for that um, but to me it was important uh, I thought it was uh, very important for someone to have um, some kind of background in that um, therapy is different you, you have to have um, accredited um, degree um, and you have to be licensed um, uh, by an accredited school to uh, be a therapist and it's quite um, a more um, extensive degree um, so I my my bachelor's degree in psychology is from an accredited school it did give me a very good education but um, the coaching certification that I had gave me a more specified um, area that I needed to go into to be able to do the coaching. Um, so kind of to go into more into coaching and the differences, um, coaching really what it is, is um, just that when you think of, um, when you hear the word coach, you think of I tend to think of a, a coach, like in sports, um, a coach will coach their team players on the game. Um, coaching in life coaching, relationship coaching is kind of the same. Um, we coach um, people on you know things that they're looking to be coached on um, things that they're going through in life um, that they need assistance with that they are looking to accomplish um, and it's a variety of things um, it's not um, any one thing in particular um, or it may be one thing in particular but um, therapists um, counseling is more specific and it's based more on your past. It's based more on um, 
things that happened in your past, like when you were a child, things from um, your history, um, growing up, things growing up, um, things from past relationships that were maybe um, hurtful to you and caused you pain. Um, they tend to focus on things like that and healing. Um, coaches don't do that. We focus on the present and the future. Um, we focus on the now and where you are going. Um, and that's what we do. Um, so coaches, we, we like to empower individuals to make their own path by giving you the tools that you need to succeed. We don't give advice. A lot of times counselors and therapists, they will give advice. Um, we don't do that. We give you the tools that you need to make your own choices. And that is very empowering. Um, it's very important to a coach, um, most coaches anyway, that I know and am aware of, um, that is their directive is for um, their coachee to be able to make the decision themselves um, to develop their skills and to realize their full potential um, we don't we don't give you the answers we want you to be able to realize these things on your own um, we just help you we give you the we give you the tools and um, through these tools you <clears throat> are able to get to where you need to be and we can help you <clears throat> analyze and maybe realize things that you didn't know were there. Um, in everyday life, we go through things, we go through the motions and we're our, we're our own worst enemy. We don't see things that other people see. We don't, we don't understand what's happening to us. We, we see things, we don't understand why things are happening to us. We just know that there, this is happening and then we don't understand why this is, this relationship is not working out or why we're not getting this relationship that we want and we're not getting this job that we want. And, you know, we're doing everything that we believe we should be doing and the outcome that we want is not there. And we don't understand why we're, we're doing everything right in our own opinion. Um, so sometimes it takes that third person to come in and really be able to see from an outsider's view um, kind of what might be going on. Um, you know, your friends can't do that. Your friends can give good advice. Um, they're going to tell you what they think you want to hear. Or they're going to tell you based on their experiences and their um, lives. They're not going to tell you um, what the what they really think is good for you and that's not a bash on your friends or you know your family that's just what they do that's their that's our friends their that's their job um, they're not a coach they're not um, that's not what they're they're not trained to do that um, but coaches that's what what we are trained to do we are trained to look at your life and go, okay, um, this is what I see and this is what I think. Um, so that's very different and um, in a sense that's what we can do. We can take things and, and analyze them and see um, kind of where the next step needs to go. And as individuals that's really hard for us to, to do. We don't see those things. Um, it's kind of like when you're dieting, um, when you've gained, you've gained 20 pounds and you don't understand it. You, oh, well, my clothes don't fit. I don't understand why, you know, I'm, I'm dieting and, you know, I feel like I'm eating right. I'm exercising, but this weight won't come off. You know, you can't see it. You don't understand why. Well, when you sit down and you really think about it or someone's watching you, they've been watching, you know, you've been having, you know, cookies every day or you know you've been eating this extra thing you don't even realize you're doing it you know you've been doing this thing and it's become a habit but you don't see that because it's become a habit for you but somebody else may see it so it's kind of like that 
in a sense. But um, so coaches, we help you to realize your your full potential. We help you to take risks that you know you never might have done before. Um, um, the things that we do in the giving you those tools, we they will help you to um, improve your work performance, have better success in work in your life, better success in your relationships, um, not just um, intimate relationships, but also better relationships with your family, your friends, um, parental relationships, relationships at work. Um, I mean, it's amazing, like, just the relationships with people you work with, I mean, how much of a difference it makes just being able to have good relationships with people you work with. I mean, it really is mind-blowing. Um, just having better relationships with everyone, how much better your life can be, um, just, just to have that. Um, but we give you the keys to modify your own life, help you identify your own goals, where you want to go, and to really have um, a goal to work towards, um, and where you want to go, where you see yourself in life. Um, we help you kind of plan that out. We find your areas of growth. Um, we create a supple area um, for you to have a space a peaceful space where there's no judgment there's plenty of space for you to talk openly um, without judgment a place for you to explore your thoughts questions um, a place of reflection and a place for the journey ahead um, that's kind of where that goes um, but yeah it's um, it's a lot of things and it's really exciting um, it's helped a lot of people it's helped me um, it's helped a lot of people that I know personally um, it's really exciting to see um, how it can turn your your life around and a lot of people um, and you know if you're not sure just give it a try one or two sessions um, three or four really is what it takes before you can really see what it can do for you um, but it's pretty it's pretty neat how you know it can work um, definitely different than than therapy and counseling um, not knocking therapy and counseling I've seen it work you know wonders for a lot of people um, it definitely goes you know more deeper issues um, definitely more um, more mental health issues um, and there there is some of that out there and that's definitely above and beyond uh, the scope of a coach um, uh, more like psychosis and things like that um, that's not something that a coach would would take care of um, that's definitely something you would get into um, some psychotherapy with um, that's not something that that we could do um, but a therapist will will teach these skills um, we know the therapy doesn't give you the keys to learn how to do it yourself they teach you um, how to have these coping skills to do it um, so that's kind of how it 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 differs and they do give advice um, but some of the um, things that people come to coaching for and some of the, the things that I offer um, specifically in my coaching um, I offer life coaching and I offer relationship coach coaching and specifically in that realm because some people have asked me um, some things that I've worked on with some of my clients and some of the other things that I offer that I've gotten the questions about are confidence training um, business and success, um, family coaching, like parenting, um, also adolescence and teen coaching, troubled youth, um, introversion, um, also single parents, um, a lot of single parents out there um, can really benefit from coaching, um, divorced um, parents, divorced um, non-parents um, people that have been remarried definitely can benefit from coaching um, 
people that are married can benefit from coaching. Um, there's a lot of different, uh, different needs out there. Um, people that are introverts um, have, um, have needs um, and that coaching can help. Um, there's all kinds of different, different things out there. So if you're thinking and wondering if coaching can help you, um, just drop me a message. Uh, you can get on my link, link tree um, and book a, a consultation with me. Um, you can even send me a message if you're not sure, um, you know, nothing is too silly. Um, trust me, there's, there's tons of things out there that people wonder about. Um, and if you're wondering if it's something that coaching can help with, then it, it, probably the answer is yes. Um, but I do a 15 minute um, complimentary consult. Um, there's no obligation, so we can get on the phone and have a call and talk it over and see if it might be a good fit for you. So I'll put the link in the description. Um, my husband Jack does all that for me because I'm not good with any of that so <laughs> he'll help me with that but um, if you have any other questions definitely let me know I'm still pretty new to all of this so um, thanks for watching I had to come on here and add one more thing because I can't believe I forgot this um, dating is another big one that I help with on coaching. Um, it is a huge um, issue out there right now, especially with COVID and everything going on. Um, it's one of the main things that I get asked about and I can't believe I forgot it. Um, so I'm coaching people on it right now. Um, I get asked about it a lot um, and it's very helpful to a lot of people. Um, right now with everything going on. So it's another thing that I do. Um, just wanted to let you know about it. Thanks.